Hi everyone, I just want to do a quick update regarding um, MMS and the court case that I was involved in in 2016. Uh, Patrick Merlin was found guilty of manufacturing and selling MMS bleach as a cure for autism. He was prosecuted and fined €4,000. For the last, well, two and a half years, I've been trying to find out um, if he paid this fine because Patrick Merlin is still advertising MMS as we speak, still saying it cures autism, telling people not to vaccinate their children and give bleach instead. And I don't know, I don't understand how he's allowed to do that when he was found guilty in the courts. And um, I don't know if he's paid this fine, which have been, should have been paid months ago, because he did appeal and it's gone on and on and on. I have rang the courts in ACE so many times and I've written to them and they told me in the beginning that they would tell me and that I have a right to know because I was a chief witness in this case. I was the one that made the complaint to the HBRA in the first place back in 2014. However, today they have responded to my email of July and said that they are not going to tell me due to data protection. So we don't know if he's paid this fine. We don't know, you know, we as the public, I think, should have a right to know if this man has actually uh, been punished properly for his crime. Um, so I, I want to, I suppose, pose that question to people that might be able to enlighten me on this issue, that if you are a witness in a case and the person is found guilty, maybe, you know, it would be nice to know if that person has actually, you know, served the punishment that has been given to them. And like I said, it's a tiny fine. It doesn't actually bring justice to this horrendous abuse. Just for people watching, um, this man was making um, a product made out of sodium chloride and uh, citric acid, which forms an industrial strength bleach. He was advocating this as a cure for autism, which involves poisoning autistic children orally by drinking this poison. And then they're forced to have burning bleach enemas of this poison. Uh, they suffer side effects, vomiting, seizures, fevers, kidney failure, liver failure. People have died because of this product uh, created by a cult by an ex-scientologist called Jim Humble. It's absolutely horrific what children are being are suffering with this abuse and we don't have any real protection here. Uh, not only do I not know if this man has paid his fine, I received a letter uh, last week actually um, from the DPP, that's the Department of Public Prosecution, saying that they're not going to prosecute a parent who was giving this bleach to her autistic son. So I'm calling on the authorities to act. People keep saying to me, oh, these peddlers of bleach are awful, the people doing this are awful, but the real crime is the lack of action taken by the authorities, including the Minister for Health, Minister for Justice, and our government as our whole who have known about this abuse since 2014. Primetime did a documentary in 2015. The media have written countless articles about this and it is also banned in Ireland since 2016. However, it's still being given to autistic children. People are driving around in their cars. Mr. Frank Carey was um, exposed in the Sunday world not long ago. He's giving this bleach to autistic children as we speak. We have an autism bill that could help address this issue, but Senator Riley doesn't want to include a paragraph that will address uh, these abusive practices, not just MMS. There's loads of quack treatments being given to autistic children. And um, we need a legislation that will actually prosecute parents, peddlers, and the promotion of this quackery. And it needs to be done now. I have been campaigning for five years. I'm working with other passionate activists here in Ireland as we speak, who have raised us in the doll recently. And we are, you know, corresponding to TDs on this issue um, as we speak as well. But I want to get answers to these questions, why the DPP don't see this as a crime, even though the HPRA have banned this product, and why the courts will not um, tell the public whether this criminal has paid his fine or not. Mr. Merlihan, if you're watching, you are a monster. You are advertising this bleach on Twitter, on Facebook and on your website. And I don't understand if he was found guilty of this crime, how he has the right to advocate this bleach product. It doesn't make sense to me. It's absolutely laughable that he can do this after being prosecuted. So I just want to update people. We don't know if he's paid this fine or not. And I think we should know if he's paid this fine. It's some justice for these poor children that are being tortured by this bleach product. Um, again, thanks for your support and um, I will keep you updated with ongoing progress on this issue. And um, 
what seems to be the case is that those speaking out against MMS are in more trouble and are trying to be censored by the people that advocate this than the criminals that are actually giving this bleach to autistic children. Um, autistic children have rights as much as any other child and I have two autistic children and autistic rights are human rights and I will keep fighting until legislation has uh, been introduced into this country so that we can really, really put an end to this child abuse and that is what MMS abuse is. It is child abuse. You do not give bleach to humans. You do not give bleach to animals. And these are children with special needs. There are babies as young as two years of age and younger having bleach enemas. And it is absolutely heartbreaking that I have to continuously, continuously address this issue. I am going to be appealing the decision that the DPP have made in relation to this mother, who was one of the worst cases that I've seen, actually. And um, let's see what they have to say about their reasoning for not thinking MMS abuse is a crime. Um, I will be very, um, you know, interested to see what they will say to that. And um, as for Merlehan, I hope you rot in hell. You are a monster. And one day justice will be got and you will be silenced forever because it's coming. Uh, so I can say the promotion of these products is going to be addressed as well. We are working on that. We are working on introducing really, really tight legislation so that you won't be allowed to advocate MMS bleach, period. Thanks for watching and please share this video and please, if you do have any time, write to TDs and politicians here in Ireland and voice your concerns around this abuse. Um, the more people that reach out and complain, the better. Or even share this video or the posts that my friends and I are putting up on Twitter and on Facebook because sharing is caring and you're helping to end this abuse of children. Thank you. Bye.